Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We have our tiny little solar wind monitoring rocket in two months, and we're launching impact analysis in four months. That's our lucrative mission. And then we have Valor is complete in four months as well. All right. Uh, Rosalind Franklin target choice. The team operating your Mars rover Rosalind Franklin have identified two potential locations ideal for further investigation. The first is a crater bed that will allow the rover to search for signs of past water, a location particularly favored by your scientists. Your PR team, however, favor the second option, a picturesque point at the top of a ridge, which would allow for some spectacular images. We are going to the crater. We are going with the scientists on this one. Location targeted. Rosalind Franklin will be directed towards the chosen location, a journey which will the rover team estimates taking around six months. Okay. Okay, this is a Mars tech test as well, which isn't half bad. All right, well, let's uh, launch our mission. It's a tiny bit of science, but it's science. And we have adequate conditions, 3% risk of going boom. Let's see if we get up there. And hopefully don't get a negative event because the payload reliability really wasn't great. Looking good. Still looking good. And we're out of here. Nice. And we got a positive event. Nice. Plus one calm on first task and mission. And they're just as reliable as they get. They have been up there several times before. Okay. We need to contend with drift. We need it to be minus one to one. We It reduces by two. And return. We need two comms. Five nav. We already have a comm. So why don't we do an atmospheric sampling that spends our calm but gives us three data and takes us into range. Then we can do a data transmission, which gives us three comms, two data. Let's do that. And of course, we fail on the very first task. We'll resist it. And the next one is good. Right, we don't have a whole lot of power. We'll spend the power here to get us back up there. And I think we'll spend another one. Actually, no, because this will just get us there. 50% bonus reward achieved. We are within drift alignment and we can resist. So let's just get it done. There. Mission complete. That was a nice and easy one. And we get around 400 science for two months. Not half bad. And that gives us a bit more science income, 1164. And it will potentially go up. We'll stay at... Ah, uh, wait. We're here now. Then it'll drop down. And then it'll potentially go up a bit. All right, well, we completed that mission. We are not going to do that one. So I think we're going to do uh, the atmospheric sensors here or go on an even longer one for this, the 21 month one. I think we'll go for the 21 month one. It's a long mission and it's challenging. But that's okay, because we'll have our impact analysis launch in two months, then we'll have Valorous complete in two months. 
So I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. Let's continue on. New joint mission available on Earth. Together with China, new. We'd rather antagonize them than increase our relations with them. So that's not happening. Sorry, China. Next month. And we're... We have our lander vehicle ready. Very reliable vehicle. And... Optimal and suboptimal launch windows are reversed. I think that's very nice for us. And then we're launching our lucrative mission here, the impact analysis. Let's go ahead and do that. Reasonably reliable. Weather is not great. Bad conditions. Let's reschedule this. And we'll reschedule for next month. Uh, wait. December. We'll reschedule for December next month. Okay, and then we have uh, this bad boy ready. We'll do science. Actually, science isn't that great. Let's just do payload reliability. Make sure that we get up there. And we can launch next month. November. Select date. Confirm. Oh, I set the impact analysis to two months. Okay. Never mind. So, because the launch windows were, were, were reversed, we can send the lander next month. Which is very nice. And we have 73% reliability on our payload. 94 launch reliability. It's a 10-month mission. Weather is looking good. 1% risk of going boom. And 2% risk of a negative effect. 3, 2, 1. And off we go. We have liftoff. Big Saturn V booster. Looking good. Get up there. Go, go, go. It's a huge booster for what looks like a small payload. Alright. Secure launch. And Ariane 6 gets a little bit more reliable. In the upper stage. Oh, that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. All right, so we need thrust, which we expected to need. 22 comms, 22 nav, and 18 thrust. So we have six turns, four commands per turn. We need to hit this four times on the last turn, the calculated thrust to burn. So that means that we need to get to 26 nav and eight data before then. All right. Well, we'll do a signal attenuation test for some comms. Then we will use our comms to get 10 nav. And then we will do, well, the 10 nav coming from the manual thrust adjustment. And then we'll do some mission control monitoring, costing a power and a nav for another four comms and two data. Confirm that. Ah, damn it. Alright, we'll resist that. Okay. So far, so good. Now, the only way we can earn data is spending power here. So I think we'll recharge once. Actually, let's recharge twice. 
and get some comms and some data. Okay. Then we can do a mission control monitoring again. That gives us the data that we need, but we're going to spend some of that data, I think, later. We'll spend six comms to get us up to 21 nav. We can resist twice. Uh, yeah, that's we do not want to lose two navs, so we're resisting that. Okay. Now. If we do that, that actually gives us the nav that we need. But we're going to do it twice. And then we're going to recharge twice, I think. Because we need to do a couple of these. And then a couple of these. That gets us there so that next turn we can hit that four times and we can resist once. Nice. Okay, so one, two, three, four, fifty percent bonus reward. We can afford to lose two thrust, and we can resist once. Nice and beautiful. We actually get an extra two thrust, so we're up to twenty-two. 50% bonus reward achieved, and we have our lander on its way to Mars. Beautiful. We get a bit of support and a bit of science. Not a whole lot, though. Okay, so that is on its way. Let's take a look at all of these. No one has the science. No one has the science. No one has the science, no one has the science, no one has the science. Japan has the science, but they're not planning anything. Okay, what are the others doing? NASA has researched Voyager. The most recent milestone is the crewed moon landing, and they have no upcoming launches. They are just falling so far behind. Uh... Russia isn't researching anything, they have no upcoming launches, and their most recent milestone is the Space Telescope. China is not researching, they have Mercury orbit as their most recent milestone, and they're doing a multi-crew orbit in five months. Japan is researching the H-2A, I guess that's a rocket. Their most recent milestone is the X-ray telescope, and they have a Mars orbit launch in four months. We are so far ahead of everyone, it's ridiculous. Two times SLS research complete, nice. And we are launching our lucrative mission this month. Please be good weather. No. Terrible conditions. We'll reschedule this again. For January. Confirm. We need to set some research, and we are going to research the crewed landing. Crewed Mars landing. 
All right, budget review. We actually got quite a bit of support, but not enough. We still need like 13, well, 12,500 12, to get up to the next tier. Supplementary booster reliability bonus increased by 100%. Okay. Payload reliability is horrible. Relaunching the impact analysis yet again. How's the weather this time? Still bad. Crying out loud. All right, I guess we're going in February. Which is then an optimal launch date. We have a new request mission here. Publicized mission for a lot of science. And some good support. And suboptimal launch dates become optimal launch dates. That is a very, very nice vehicle upgrade. We're going to want to do this if we can. The Jovian Small Moon Survey payload is ready. That's the pretty unreliable one. We'll go with the Athena. And... Hmm. I think the Delta IV... Yeah. Seventy nine percent launch liability, eighty nine percent launch liability. I think we'll do that. It costs us around three hundred thousand, but that's okay. And we will do composite casing. Uh, no, we will not. We will do advanced shock absorption for our payload reliability. And that's all good. Let's see, can we get our green moon payload reliability is reduced? That's not what we want. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. So we're just going to build it in-house. Build vehicle. Complete in 11 months. And let's continue on. We have two launches next month. Both the crude rover and the impact analysis. Martian Lake could have supported life. Your researchers have reported that during its investigation of a Martian crater bed, your rover, Rosalind Franklin, has found evidence of an ancient lake that could have supported microbial life. Several papers on the discovery are due to be published, gained a thousand science. Nice. All right, we have our impact analysis launch again. So let's go ahead and launch that. Jesus Christ! All right, I'm not doing this anymore. We're launching. 5% risk of going boom. It has rained every single time. This has been scheduled for launch. It's It's been scheduled for launch like six times or something. And it's just been horrible, horrible conditions every time. All right. But it looks like we're getting out of here. It looks good. It looks good. And we get a secure launch. Atlas and Agena are good. And we need to enter transfer orbit. We have thrust and drift. Uh, the drift doesn't fluctuate or reduce or anything, though, so we just need to stay within a minus 2 to 2 margin. We need 4 data, 10 nav, and 6 thrust, so we need to hit this twice on the last turn, which causes drift. We have 4 turns and 3 commands per turn. Alright. I would have loved to do this, but that is just horrendous. Forward drift. So I think instead we're going f with an infrared spectroscopy, then a trajectory optimization, 
then so we need to have four nav uh, four calm for the last turn so why don't we do Hmm. Meteorite detection. That gives us two, two, and two. And no drift. Alright. So we will get two nav for the last one. So it should be okay. So we'll do a micrometer right detection, a trajectory optimization, and another micrometer right. This isn't working, is it? It gives us four, three, and five, so we need to get seven. I, I think, I think we can do it. We'll see. Uh, assist that. All right. So we do two of these, then we do two of, then we do this, then we can do that again next turn and do this twice and get there no no we don't get there we don't get there because I need to have eight and I have eight now if I spend one here Uh, but we can do the infrared spectroscopy and then do the controlled burn twice. Unless we have to resist. Which we thankfully didn't. So then do the infrared spectroscopy and two controlled burns. That takes us to the 50% bonus reward within margin. We cannot resist anything. So we're just going to have to accept whatever it is. Oh, man. We can't afford it to cost that. But we can't resist it, so we don't get our 50% bonus award. Dang it! Oh, well. Oh, well. Six, still 1.6 million. We're not exactly hurting for money right now. Then we have our Mars Prep Crewed Rover. Ready to launch. 85% launch reliability, 75% payload reliability. It's good science. Let's do it. This guy has adequate conditions. 3% risk of boom, 10% of not great. Let's go. And ignition. And lift off. And it's again the big Saturn that is going. Man, that's loud. That is loud. But we are out of here. Beautiful. And we got a positive event. Nice. Plus one power for duration of mission. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. Excellent. And the Ariane 6 gets a little bit more reliable again. Mars crewed rover. So we're doing the Mars trajectory transfer.
or Mars Transfer Orbit. So let's do that. Uh, we need 15 thrust. We have six turns, four commands per turn. We need to hit calculated thrust to burn three times on the last turn. We so we need we need 15 comms, 20 nav. So we need 23 nav in effect, and six data. All righty. Let's do a signal attenuation test. Then a manual thrust adjustment. And let's boost our transmission. And do another manual thrust adjustment. That gives us five and seven. I think that's a pretty good start. We have 25% reliability on the payload. It's not great, but it's not horrible. I think we'll basically be doing the same thing again. That gives us 13 and 11. Dang it. We we'll resist it. We don't want it to cost two extra or output two less. So that two, 14 and 11. How about we do it one more time? It takes us to 22 and 15. Actually, if we just do that, it takes us to 16 and 18. Then we can do an ultraviolet imaging, giving us some of the data that we need. Come on. We, we reduced by two. No, I don't want that. Nice. And another success. Good. All right. So we're almost there. We have three turns left. So what we can do is this... That takes us where we need to be, and then do that. That's 16, 23, and 8. So if we do a thrust three times, that takes us down to 20, which is fine. And we complete this with a turn in hand. Wow, that was a real critical failure. Three less, Jesus. Okay, one, two, three. Calculated thruster burns. We can recharge once, so we can resist all three if we need to. And we get our 50% bonus reward. Wonderful. Well, we need to resist the first one. Not the second. And not the third. Nice. All right. We are transferring to Mars. And we get a bit of support and 243 science for six months. That's actually okay. That is actually okay. Then we have the next phase of our lander. Is that that there, or is that... I don't see anything else. Well, next phase of our lander this month. Uh, so that would be... This one, and that's the mid-course maneuver. That's pretty good. All right. So we need to deal with drift. We need to get it up to zero and we get minus three every turn. We need 15 thrust. So we need 
33 nav and 6 data on the last turn. Alright. Okay. So we do a telecommand upload. Then we do two manual thrust adjustments, taking us to 10 nav. Six turns, four commands per turn. And then we do... A lossless compression. That takes us to zero and seven nav, five comms, four data. Let's confirm that. And it's all good. And we are at zero. Go back to minus three. Let's do another lossless compression. That takes us to nine and eight. That's enough data. And then we can do one, two, three of these, taking us to 19. Hmm, what do I want to do that? Because I want more. Let's do a mission data downlink instead of for one of them. That'll cost us two, but get our drift up. Confirm. Now, it doesn't matter if we are not 100% aligned uh, until the last turn, but if we don't keep it under control, it's just... It's just going to get out of hand. So what if we do one, two, one, two? It gives us... 16 nav we have more than enough of everything else but it get most importantly it gets our drift uh, quite a bit up well it gets us our drift one higher than it should be so it'll only go down to minus two this turn then we can do one, two. One, two. That takes us to 20. And again, our drift is reasonable. I do not care that we get less comms. We have more than enough of them. So then we can do one, two, we need to hit this three times next turn. But we need to hit this twice to get, that won't work. If we do this instead, that will work because then we just need to hit the manual thrust adjustment once. And uh, no, it won't work. It won't work. Hmm. What if we do a Doppler tracking? A manual thrust adjustment. 
twice. And then a lossless compression. Then we can hit this once and this three times next turn. And that'll get us there. But we will still not get have the... Dang it! We'll not have the uh, drift where we need it, because we need it up one higher. So basically we need to hit this three times. Hmm. But we can't get our drift back. What if we do this? Then we need to hit this which will do that we don't get our bonus reward. I don't think we can get our bonus reward on this one, guys. Nope. Okay, so we have to do this three times. And then we basically have to do this to get the Drift. Yeah, no bonus reward. Okay. That's a shame. That's a shame. I think I screwed that up. All right. Oh well. Let's continue on to next month. We have a new request mission, orbital radio. We don't have any slots, no. Okay, so we have the next phase of the lander in four months and the crewed rover. Also next phase in four months. The impact analysis in six months. We have the sublime complete in one month and the victory complete in eight months. So I guess we'll continue on in the next one, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bum out, bummed out about that bonus there, but it wasn't too bad. So any, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.